getting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Whether the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Spain against Italy. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Here's the lineup for Spain. Grimaldo starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Oyarzabal plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And the main striker today is Morata. And the shot. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Decides to shoot. Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. Plenty of support here. Well, a stylish moment. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oyar Sabal. A danger here as he runs at them. And played the pass well. So, a corner here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, an ordinary header, and that's probably being charitable. Well, it's a 12th European Championship appearance for Spain. Winners in 1964, 2008 and 2012. You've got to say, Stuart, it's a tricky-looking group for them. Croatia, Italy and Albania, but their talent level is high. It certainly is. Spain have got some great young players, but the problem they've had in previous tournaments is, do they play with enough penetration? Yes, they keep possession. Yes, they like to have the ball, but you have to penetrate when you get into the right sort of areas. And that's been the problem for Spain recently. I think they're going to get through this group. Can they go all the way? Probably not. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Dangerous-looking attack. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Nicolo Zaniolo. Jorginho. Torres. Options in the centre. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Over it comes. Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And he's in. Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Now just the tackle that was needed. Counter-attacking very much an option. They need to get bodies back for the lead here. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that.
Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Jorginho. And a tidy tackle. Gabby. Torres. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And a good looking pass. He's in behind. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Rodri. On to Morata. Is this the moment? Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Playing it in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Barella. On the ball, Zaniolo. Space afforded him. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Firing it in. Strong hand on that one. Morata and Italy regaining possession. Fratesi. Well, good run this. Now, what can he do with it? Has a go. Still a chance. Well, that's a foul and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Delivering it. No nonsense piece of defending. Well, it's been a good last 15 minutes for Italy. They're having most of the ball now, and they've played some good football. It's just now about taking one of them. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Morata. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team.
And so it is, the first half story has been written. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Morata. Marino. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. He's got to score! Gabby. Morata. The fans want to see a shot. That is tackling of the highest order. Federico Chiesa. Read it well. Gavi. On the offensive. And Laporte in the way. Mikel Marino. Morata. And beyond the last defender, offside. Well, they've decided to make a change. Alessandro Bastoni. Barella has it. Scalvini. Davide Fratesi. Good technique displayed. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. Taken short. Federico Di Marco. Barella. Now veering in field. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort, just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Gabby. Rodri. Morata. Oya Sabal. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Alessandro Bastoni. Federico Di Marco. Well, they have the ball once more. It needs, could be. Surely can't miss. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Davide Fratesi. Take it away.
Rodri. Mikel Marino. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And taking it away. Gianluca Scamacca. Advantage played. Teammates available. But the danger averted for now. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And he's broken free. Well, the final attempt, quite honestly, didn't match the initial build-up. Well, breathtaking football, but unfortunately, a wasteful finish in the end. So, a personnel change then. Morata. Carvajal. Morata is up there. Well, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Real chance. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Not showing good defensive judgment. Morata. Chances on. And still danger here. Gabby, Marino, nicely saved. And the substitution will occur now. He's driven in the corner. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Laporte. Nicely cut out. Zaniolo. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. And it's also going to be a booking. Well, he's absolutely right. It's a penalty and a yellow card. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Rodri. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Locatelli on the ball Zaniolo and Spain unable to hold on to the ball Locatelli and there it is the final whistle just what Spain were hoping for they have delivered a victory Stuart well Derek they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game they defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.